Today we're talking about the real reason Apple removed the charging brick and the headphones from the new iPhone box. Let's get started. says that it's because of e-waste and it's part of their pledge to be carbon neutral by 2030. But what do they have to gain from being carbon neutral? And if the reason they didn't include the charger in the box is because we all have chargers already, then why did they include this USB-C to lightning charging cord? Isn't this just another cord that most of us are just going to throw out because we can't use it? How can they raise the price of the 6.1 inch iPhone by $130 and remove these necessary accessories? First, they removed the headphone jack. Then they removed the adapter. And now they've removed the headphones. It's almost like they want you to buy Bluetooth earbuds. Like maybe AirPods? And if I buy a new iPhone and I can't charge it, I'm gonna have to go out and buy a charger. They just came out with my, this new MagSafe charger. Magnets to the back, charges your phone inductively. Come to find out, this comes and there's no charge brick in this box. You gotta pay another $20 to get a USB charge brick from Apple. All of this is just about money. All Apple cares about is getting your money and becoming richer and richer. Duh. Making money is how a company survives. Saying Apple just cares about making money is like saying you just care about being able to breathe. But do me a favor and look at it this way. The 5.8 inch iPhone 11 Pro with OLED had a starting price of $1,000. Now all iPhones have OLED and the starting price of an OLED iPhone is $730. They had to cut some corners to give us these upgrades. Guess what? You don't need to buy the newfangled charger for your phone. Last year's charger will work. The charger you have for an iPhone already will work. If you don't have one, go buy an MFI charging cord from Walmart or Amazon. An Aki wall plug from Amazon with USB-C works with your new iPhone cord is less than $14. You can get a wall plug on Amazon that'll work with this cord for as low as $7.99. And something I did was I bought these adapters. They plug into the USB and they make it USB-C. I thought about just hot gluing these in there. You don't have to buy from Apple and I think Apple did this on purpose. It forces third parties to start adopting USB-C faster. Furthermore, when you have your new iPhone and you look in the box and it's not a cord that you can use with any of the plugs you have, it forces you to think, where do I have a charging cord that I can use with this? Rather than, oh, I have a new charging cord, I can throw this old one away. The brick is what was taking up more space in the box, not the cord. And the brick is what was causing more e-waste, not the cord. As for the earbuds that used to be in the box, but now aren't. Cheap Bluetooth earbuds from Amazon or Walmart or any other store are about $10 now. But why would Apple want you buying cheap Bluetooth earbuds that they didn't make, you might ask? And to that, I would like to respond with a personal story. Back in 2017, I got an iPhone 5S when my mom upgraded to iPhone 8. This was my first iPhone. I had the wired headphones. I didn't like them because I was tethered to my iPhone. I couldn't walk away from it. So I bought some $20 Bluetooth earbuds with a wire connecting them, and I loved those because I could walk away from the device that I was listening to. But the wire was a bit annoying and regular Bluetooth issues, so for my birthday that year, I got truly wireless earbuds, these big things. Those were nice because they were truly wireless. You could kind of take one out and put it down, but they had the regular Bluetooth issues and the right one needed to be turned on before the left one would connect at all. So there were those weird issues with just the way that it worked. So I was in the Apple store one day and I saw the AirPods and I was like, I could just buy those and return them, try them out, see if there's something I would eventually want to buy. So I tried them for two weeks and I fell in love with them, but I had to return them. I knew that I was going to buy AirPods eventually, but at the time I was trying to save my money. Anyway, my whole family went in together on buying me a pair of AirPods and I wanted the wireless charging case, so I took it to Apple and exchanged it for $40 to get that, but all this started with me wanting cheap Bluetooth earbuds. Apple got my business because 
I had used a non-Apple headset and found it lacking. All this to say, I think Apple's okay with people getting cheap Bluetooth earbuds because they know that there are enough people like me that will not settle until they have the best experience. To conclude, Apple doesn't make the cheapest option, but they do make the best option. And removing the charger and headphones from the box reduces e-waste and saves money. They probably pledged to go carbon neutral for publicity. But when you're in the business of making money, that's what you do. Apple switched to USB-C to push third parties to start supporting it because USB-C is the future of wired connection. So they did all of this to make money. But if they don't make money on this year's iPhone, there won't be an iPhone next year. That's about all I have for you. Later. Go buy an MFI charging cord from Walmart or Amon. Amon? Yeah. They probably pledged to go carbon neutral for blah, 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 blah. They probably... They probably... Blah, 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 blah